I'm very happy to have Mili here. She's the marketing manager at the Financial Times. Uh, and she will now share us deep insights how the Financial Times has gone from digital first to audience first and what it takes to engage users properly and really and change by that the newsroom. So very, very happy to have you here. Miley. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Mei Li from the Financial Times. Uh, originally, was my boss, Renee Kaplan, the head of audience engagement, supposed to speak here today. And her topic is about how the FT has transformed from content first to audience first. Uh, since I'm serving a very unique position at the FT, Actually, I'm going to shift the topic a little bit, focus more on just the audience engagement, and particularly talk about how we actually do that across editorial and commercial. What is the... Okay. Okay. A little bit background about myself. Um, so I graduated with a journalism degree from both my bachelor and master programs. But in the past eight years, I've been practicing digital marketing, particularly audience development, in three different news organizations. Last year, the FT actually created a brand new team called Audience Engagement inside the newsroom. So I became the very first marketing person formally joined the newsroom and also serving a very unique role, trying to create, to create the bridges between editorial commercial and also create an environment for people to collaborate, work together on shared goals. So how do we do that? First, I really want to introduce about why the FT think audience engagement is necessary and why we also use that as a focus for the entire business. Uh, so our leadership actually share their vision, saying better engagement also means greater editorial and commercial success. Why is that? We can break down by different areas. First, for editorial. And for editorial people, by understanding how people actually engage with our content, help them to serve the readers better, and also help those people who might be in fact, uh, affected by our FT journalism uh, to better inform and also get better value of our content. So that's for the newsroom. Second, as you all know, the FT is monetized by our paid content. Um, so engaging with our audience from the prospect to registered users and subscribers actually help us to get higher acquisition and retention rates. And more importantly, we can also increase the lifetime value of our loyal customers. The next one, advertising, is quite also unique for the FT because last year we introduced a new way to charge our advertisers. Instead of charge by impressions, we charge by cost per hour. That means we actually can make money if readers spend more time on our website. So in that way, we also can inform our advertisers not only somebody has seen their ads, but also how much time they actually interact with the ads. So it's quite um, powerful information. The last is the product development. Um, so you guys can all watch out this space because FT is about to launch our newly redesigned website later this year. It's going to be mobile friendly and with faster speed and personalized content, a lot of new features. Um, but also getting a higher number of engaged audience actually will help us to develop more premium content to make the business more lucrative. So the FT actually has a goal in the next couple of years to reach 1 million paid subscribers. And we have a company-wise incentive. So every month, we have 5,000 pounds as the, uh, the word to people who can contribute great ideas and projects to make better engagement of our business. Um, the reason the figure actually shows uh, we have record high circulation number at 780,000 paid subscribers and uh, 655,000 actually pay, uh, digital subscribers. And that's a 12% year over year increase. And uh, next is quite important how we actually measure engagement. So we call this RFV, 
R means recency. So when was the last time somebody come to visit the website? And frequency, how often do they actually come to the site? And last one is volume. How so each time how much content they consume? So our data analytics team come up with the threshold number and then divided our audience into seven different clusters. And from least engaged to the super fans. And that helped us to actually come up with very specific strategies, how we bring our audience to the next level of engagement. And RV has introduced a company-wise analytics metrics, but that actually doesn't help us to understand specifically you know, our audience, particularly for the newsroom people. Last week, FT just launched a brand new real-time analytics tool called Lantern. And this too really helped the editors and reporters to understand a lot of details of our audience. So not only page views and uh, visits, but also the audience segments, where they come from, where they go next, how much time they actually spend on each topic or article pages, where they go next, did they actually come back after they see your content. So very rich information. We designed this too for the newsroom, but we actually also decided we're gonna roll out this too for the rest of business. Because understanding how the readers engage with our content is quite valuable for the rest of the business as well. And that also shows our commitment, like how we actually put the data in the center of our business. And come back to the audience engagement team. Since it's brand new, I 